let's say we have uh, a line uh, here and that is a diameter of a spherical object and it's radially symmetrical about its center of mass its moment of inertia would coincide with its center of mass and what that means is from an exterior view looking at a gravipotential map this would appear the equivalent of a mass point right so if you're trying to turn this axis this diameter axial diameter and it's only one point it's easy to turn like what i'll do is i'll hold something up i'll tell somebody here here's this pencil hold this pencil pin pinch it as hard as you can and and prevent me from rotating it well nobody can do it but then if i say hold it in two points now i'm going to try to rotate it and you resist my efforts to rotate it well now it's a completely different matter right in effect you can kind of think of this as one moment of inertia and two moments of inertia okay so there's a difference between the mean moment of inertia and the exact actual moment of inertia